Good morning, Pipers. Hope you're all well. Sunday morning. No boy, because we are already at 30 degrees in the shed. It's our last day of this heat wave. It's supposed to break tomorrow and get thunderstorms, etc. And then be cool for the next few weeks down to, I don't know, 20, 21. Uh, no top on, I was going to put it on and then uh, I remembered that Paul commented, one man in his pipe, that uh, his missus caught him looking at me with no top on and uh, I think he liked it secretly so I thought I'd leave my top off for you Paul. <laughs> Only joking buddy. It is red hot. Let's get his pipe going. First smoke of the day, I'm going to do this video of this commission and then I'm going to go and jump on with the Aussies on the Zoom and see what them boys are up to. Smoking my uh, four round billiard and in it I have got some Dan Tobacco Mallard but the one plus Perique. it's so good really really good you can only get it direct from dan uh, as far as i know but yeah it's uh, one of my favorite vapors for sure uh, pop that down and we can have a look at this pipe it's a longer old bag i had to modify a bag a bit and uh, to fit this pipe in she is a long one. So Freya, the pipe's called as the title suggests. These were commissioned by Ross. And uh, the the theme he came up with was a, a, a he wanted a, a sitter, a Dublin sitter with bamboo. Uh, but the, the and he wanted orange stem. So the tones were all kind of uh, autumnal for me and once I've finished the pipe I uh, just had this Im image of like harvest time and uh, coming into autumn and uh, Freya is the uh, god of is god of all sorts of fertility and stuff like that but he is also god of sunshine harvest them sort of things so Freya fits well with his pipe so Without further ado, let's have a look at it. So there we have a Dublin sitter. Lovely blast. Got lots of straight grain, lots of ring on there. It's light vest. And uh, did a corda van with a tan understain or overstain to get a contrast on it. Look at all them rings there. Fantastic, even got rings on the bottom. And then uh, it's only a narrow ball, it's my tapered ball, and it's only like 18 and a half wide because uh, I only wanted a smaller ball. But as the pipe went on, uh, I asked him if we wanted to keep the plateau, and same as me, decided it probably would look better with a plateau. I think it does, and uh, so it is a bit deeper ball. You know, it's 42, 43, which is pretty standard really, but to say it's only 18 and a half and tapered, it's quite a small ball actually, even though it looks fairly large. Uh, obviously, you've got to have some weight in the ball to uh, get it to sit when it's so long. Then, uh, we'll plump for the uh, dark bamboo, which is just beautiful. And then the... Uh, we went with the orange Cumberland, which I think works really well. The Eldridge. So, as you can see, I think it's a very autumnal pipe. I absolutely love it. 
just a real nice pipe there just to sit old uh, it's not too heavy actually i think it's only about 50 grams which for a decent sized pipe like that is very acceptable but yeah freya the uh, dublin sitter So that's uh, stopping in England and heading out to its new owner tomorrow, hopefully. He's seen the pictures. He loves it. I love it. So everyone's happy. And, uh, yeah, we have uh, nothing new to report because, as you know, I, I did three videos on Saturday morning, was it? I don't know. Lose track of time. Uh so yeah I've, I've, I've kept you all up to date with everything so yeah i shall go and join the aussies for zoom smoke my uh my lad with Tariq, finish my coffee and then uh, i've got two commissions i'm working on so we're in various stages of them and i'll try and hopefully get some available pipes onto the website this week sometime so enjoy the last of your weekend sunday sunday blues later on when we've got to get up for work but uh, still plenty of pipes to get in for today and uh, as ever my friends stay smoky <laughs>